everyone, I'm Allie Diamond, and this is ThreatWire for December 13th, 2023. This is your summary of the threats to our security, privacy, and internet freedom. As I was writing ThreatWire this week, I realized that all of these stories spawn due to bad user input. So developers, let's make sure we're sanitizing our user input and using up-to-date packages on our development systems. Let's jump into the stories. Turns out every computer is vulnerable. But we already knew this, but I bet you didn't expect this vulnerability. At Black Hat EU on December 6th, the Binary Research Team presented their findings of vulnerabilities in the booting screens of computers, specifically when images are loaded when showing the logo of the computer company. They found this vulnerability, named LogoFail, to be viable on all ARM and x86 systems. Binary was inspired by a simple concept. What if the graphic image parsers embedded into system firmware do not update frequently and use not only outdated, but also customized versions of common image parsing libraries? Attacks like this are not necessarily new. As the Binary team mentions, a similar exploitation was presented at Black Hat USA in 2009. Logo fail was found by fuzzing the image processing libraries or using a tool to inject malformed, unexpected, or invalid inputs into a system to see what breaks. They then built out a proof of concept to confirm their suspicions. The biggest concerns of this attack are the timing when the arbitrary code execution can happen. It manages to bypass security mechanisms that would normally guard against malicious code. The Barnerly team said this, this attack vector can give an attacker an advantage in bypassing most endpoint security solutions and delivering a stealth firmware bootkit that will persist in an ESP partition or firmware capsule with a modified logo image. Some companies have started rolling out potential patches like Lenovo, so look forward to those patches in the upcoming future. If you're the admin of a WordPress site, this story is for you. A new PHP code injection, CVE 2023-6553, was found in popular backup tool Backup Migration Plus. The bug was found as a part of WordFence's bug bounty launch and celebration named Holiday Bug Extravaganza. The tool has over 90,000 users, but the team behind Backup Migration Plus, Backup Bliss, was fast to respond to the disclosure and had a patch released in just a few hours. It was found to be vulnerable to remote code execution from what appears to be a lack of user input sanitization. Versions of this tool up to 1.3.7 are at risk, and a patch is available with version 1.3.8 and onward. As a reminder, hackers start everywhere. On December 11th, a new Counter-Strike vulnerability was being passed around, allowing the injection of unmoderated images into the game. Counter-Strike is a first-person shooter game created by the company Valve, and there's a specific panel in the game that utilizes a custom Valve UI library called Panorama UI that shows up when players in a lobby would try to vote to kick out a certain player from the group because they're just not doing well or they're unhappy with the player. It was originally thought to be a cross-site scripting moment, but it turned out to be only an HTML injection attack. Users started wrapping IP tracking scripts in the image and then using that to DOS players, putting players at risk and gamers out of the game. Valve rolled out a patch to prevent HTML from being parsed in the relevant UI element, fixing the image quite quickly. And with that, I'd like to remind you that you can support this ad-free show and get some awesome perks over at patreon.com slash threatwire. This is now the place to be to get all the awesome Hack5 perks and to join our upcoming book club that we're working on coming soon. Thanks so much, and we couldn't do the show without you. And as a reminder, you can join my research and writing session every Monday live on Twitch, as well as find me everywhere online, linked below. As we approach the holiday season, we over at ThreatWire and the Hack5 team want to wish you a happy holidays and a happy new year. Until next time, I'm Allie Diamond at Ending with Allie Everywhere Online. Good luck, have fun, don't get caught, and we'll see you next week. I just recorded the entire episode, didn't record it, and then realized I didn't hit the record button, almost started recording it, and realized my mic wasn't on.